Hi, I'm Stacy, and this is Serve It, where I show you how to make the recipes that I love to serve to my family and friends. What goes with football? How about buffalo wings? Well, we're gonna switch things up, and we're gonna swap out the chicken and make cauliflower the MVP. For the full recipe and to shop the items you're gonna see in this episode, all you do is search Serve It on QVC.com, and don't forget, hit subscribe. And notice the turf that we have underneath the platter. This is gonna be a project you're gonna be able to do at home. I'm gonna show you how to make a beautiful spread to go along with these awesome bites. And before any meat eater tries to give you trouble, trust me, they're gonna be coming back for more. And the vegetarians in your life are gonna kiss you for it. So start with a head of fresh cauliflower. This will feed about four to six people. So if you're having a party, you may wanna double or triple the recipe. Take a knife, cut right through the center of that head of cauliflower. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take and break away bite-sized pieces. The larger ones are better because if it's too small, it's gonna get mushy when it bakes in the oven. Toss that in the bowl and continue to break up the pieces till you're all done. Now that you have all your cauliflower broken up in this bowl, we're gonna go ahead and make the mixture or the breading to go over top. So what you're going to need is about a cup of water. This is one cup of all-purpose flour. If you wanna make these gluten-free, please feel free to use almond flour instead. And then, for a little spice, this is one teaspoon of smoked paprika. If paprika isn't your jam, totally get it. You can use garlic powder instead. Make sure we get all that in there. And we're gonna whisk this into a nice little thick coating for our buffalo cauliflower. All right, that's done. You're gonna take your cut cauliflower and you're gonna just pour that into your batter. You can make this batter even thicker by using any kind of milk or milk alternative instead of the water. But I like to save on the calories and I think the water just works fine. So make sure you get a good mix going. Another great tip, if you like sweet types of wings, you can certainly add about a tablespoon of honey to the batter before you whisk it so you get that sweet and savory bite. Those are looking good. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your cauliflower pieces and one by one using a slotted spoon, you want to place them onto a lined baking sheet. And I like to use parchment paper. It keeps the cauliflower from sticking to the pan. Don't crowd it too much because if the food is too close together, it's going to steam and you're going to lose the nice crispy coating. So we got all of our cauliflower onto the baking sheet. What we're going to do is pop this in an oven and bake it at 425 degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, so while your cauliflower is baking, it is time to make the buffalo sauce. All right, the cauliflower is done. Look how nice that coating is, and it stayed really, really crisp. So now what I gotta do is I gotta get this into a bowl, so then I can put the hot sauce right over top. Now try to preserve the parchment paper if you can. I'm not so good at that, so we're gonna probably need another sheet, because this is gonna go back into the oven. Take your hot sauce and with the pan, dump it right into the bowl. Don't worry about the mess because you never trust a clean cook. So while our buffalo bites are going through their final bake, we're gonna go ahead and make our own homemade ranch dip. Now I get it, if you don't have time, just go store-bought, do blue cheese if you like that better, and you can even do vegan in either of those dips. So what we're gonna do is take a cup of our non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and we're gonna dump that into a bowl. Then we're going to take a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Next, the herbs. We're gonna take one teaspoon of dried dill, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, three quarter teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon black pepper, freshly ground if you can, one teaspoon lemon juice, please, from a real lemon, store-bought is just not as good. Here's your two teaspoons of chopped chives, and finally, one teaspoon of chopped parsley. All you have to do is give this a good stir, all right, so that's done, and that means our buffalo bites are probably done too. There it is, the finished product, buffalo cauliflower bites. So much better than your boring vegetable platter. We added in our celery, our carrots, and of course, our favorite dip. Just make sure you do a little taste testing before you serve it. Mm.
All right, now we're going to make some homemade placemats to serve our buffalo cauliflower bites on, and it's really easy. So what you're gonna start with is some artificial turf. We picked this up at the local hardware store using about a quarter inch thick pieces. We went ahead and already pre-cut individual placemats in 12 by 12 shape. So what you're going to do is take a tape measure, measure out the length so you can see the inches separated. Then you want your paint pen, something you can pick up at your local craft store. Do it in white. Every inch you're going to make a line, starting with the longest line on the edge, and then two shorter ones, just like you would see on the sidelines of a football field. And there you have a football field placemat. Buffalo cauliflower bites, who knew they could be so good? And of course, if you're talking buffalo sauce, you gotta have beer. So next episode, we're gonna change up that old brewski into a true craft cocktail and make grapefruit beer palomas. Don't forget to check out our other series, Table It with Alberti, because he's gonna show you how to pull off the perfect spread.